If you have Google Maps on your phone, it is super important that you watch this entire video because believe it or not, Google Maps is most likely tracking every move that you make. I'm talking about where you've been, where you're going, and even years of every location you've been, they probably know it. And I'm gonna share with you how you can find out if you've been tracked and how you can turn it off. My name is Paul James, welcome back to the channel today. If you're new here, I'd highly encourage you to subscribe if you like videos like this and take that bell notification icon, but let's jump right into it. As you can see on my phone right here, I have it turned off. But if I didn't have it turned off right now, you'd be able to see the day, the different places I've been, the different cities. And then by clicking that date icon, I could actually select an exact day and month and year of exactly where I've been, a timeline of everything. I was reminded of this feature when I came across a news article the other day on the US Sun that said hidden Google map has tracked your movements for years, find and turn it off. And I remembered that, yeah, that's true, that does exist. And luckily I had it turned off on my phone. Now, if it wasn't turned off on my phone, this is actually what it would look like. You can see the red dots all over the map that show exactly where you are. And you may be thinking that this is not such a bad idea, but it actually could be if you value your privacy and there might be some annoying things that are happening to you if you have this turned on, I'll explain what that is in a minute. But check this out, there's actually different filters that you can put in and see exactly where you've been. Um, people could literally come in and check this all out. If they got a hold of your phone or your computer, they could log in if you're logged into your account and they could see all of this stuff, exactly where you're going, where you've been, all of that stuff. It's kind of crazy. Now, before I teach you how to turn this off, if you want it off, I'm gonna go through why Google does this and why they have this data. So if you do a search, why is Google Maps tracking me? You can see a lot of different results come up. They say they might even be taking photographic evidence since timeline syncs with any shops you've uploaded to Google Photos. That's kind of creepy, right? So not only are they for sure accessing your location, but possibly they're accessing photos along with that to pair it together. On AP News here, you can see that they've actually pressed Google on this and Google quoted um, this is what they said, quotations, there are a number of different ways that Google may use location to improve people's experience, including location history, web, and app activity, and through device level location services. We provide clear descriptions of those tools and robust controls so people can turn them on or off and delete their histories at any time. Comment below, let me know if you knew or not whether this was on before watching this video, because I'm curious. And if you didn't know, or you think that other people that you know might not know, definitely share this video with them so that they can be made aware of it, because I'm gonna share with you now how to turn it off. And just as another point to mention, because I'm a marketer and I know about these things, the reason why companies like Google, like Facebook, like all the other companies out there on the internet, they, they have this information is so that they can serve advertisements to you. Now tell me below in the comments if this has ever happened to you. Have you ever walked into a store, like let's say a Best Buy, and you were browsing around and you looked at something and then later on you went home and then all of a sudden you're being served advertisements from stuff that you, you know, maybe stores you were at or things that you were looking at or talking about. That's because not only do these services oftentimes track your location, but sometimes it's been proven that they're even listening to you, right? They like might hear you talk about a certain camera and then what do you know? You get an advertisement for that certain camera. Now I'm not saying Google Maps does that, but there are other services out there that have been known to do stuff like that. So if you were wondering why they might want this data, that is why, because they make money off of this data. They sell it to advertisers and they help advertisers reach customers more profitably, which means they make more money at the end of the day. I will also leave a link to how to turn this off in the description of the video, but basically you can visit myactivity.google.com and make sure you're signed into your Gmail account. And if you're signed into your Gmail account, what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see a little button that says location history. And like I showed you on my phone, it wasn't tracking any of my location history because thankfully I turned it off. But if they're tracking yours, you're gonna see this location history tab right here is going to be turned on. So make sure that if you want them to stop tracking you, you turn that off and then hopefully that'll be the end of Google Maps tracking everywhere you've been and everywhere you're going. Now, you're also able, as this article points out, to go to your timeline in that, that first place that I showed you. I will leave a link to that as well below the video to click and look at your timeline to see if you're being tracked. But you'll be able to click view all places, all visited places, and remove all visits. So that way, 
you won't be tracked previously and then this is gonna ensure that you're not tracked again in the future. Anyways, I hope this video was eye-opening for you and if it was, please do me a favor and smash a like on it. And again, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe, tick the bell notification icon. I will update you every time I post a new video and when I discover something else kind of like this. All right guys, I will see you in another video. I am Paul James, peace out.